Hi, I'm Devin Collins, product trainer for Ream Commercial Water. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a low water cutout system. Let's take a look. Start by removing the wire from the probe and touching it to ground. Hit reset and the light on the board should come on. If it does, we know the probe is either dirty or faulty. In this case, after isolating and bleeding pressure from the water side of the boiler, remove and clean or replace the probe. When reinstalling the probe, be sure to use only pipe dope. Do not use Teflon tape. If the light does not come on after the first step, then we need to connect the low water cutout post on the board to ground and hit reset. If the light comes on, then we can determine the wire connecting the board to the probe is the problem and should be replaced. If the light still does not come on, we can check voltage on the board and ensure that the board is properly grounded. If the board has voltage and we can verify that the wiring is correct, at this point, we can determine that the board is the issue and should be replaced. Following these steps should solve any problems with the low water cutout system. If by any chance the problem is not solved, then we can check the water chemistry. The low water cutout system relies on a minimum of total dissolved solids in the water to create conductivity. If the water is too pure, that may prevent the probe from making a proper ground and cause the system not to function properly.